Hey, it's Nikachu. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a Magic the Gathering Pro Tour that was won by back to back to back top decks. Today's match takes place in the finals of Pro Tour Dominaria of 2018 between Gonzalo Pinto and Wyatt Darby. For both of them, this is their first chance at winning a Pro Tour Championship. Whoever wins this last game wins it all. The decks feature really resilient, powerful red creatures to attack for victory, but none more powerful than Glorybringer. For 5 mana, you get a 4-4 flying creature with haste, which means it can attack the turn that it was played. And you may exert Glorybringer as it attacks. When you do, it deals 4 damage to target non-dragon creature an opponent controls. Kill your guy and attack immediately? That's broken! So these finalists need to fight fire with fire, but who will come out on top? Let's take a look at the action. If if Wyatt can find his third land, his hand looks quite good as well. <laughs> he found a one drop. Still Scar Mage off the top of the library, passes a turn. Excuse me, uh, that was Pinto that found the one drop. Uh, Wyatt Darby has no plays for the first two turns of the game, at least thus far. Does he have something? Lightning Strike to kill this? He does. And Gonzalo is going to curve out beautifully. After drawing that Soul Scar Mage, he's, he's got his, uh, his Scrap Heap Scrander followed by the Aether Sphere Harvester. Ooh, one or two to that three drop. And a PNLR. That is one way to do it. But this is a nice way to fight back. One thing. Goblin Chain Wheeler. So Pinto starts the game off strong with a Scrap Heap Scrounger. The downside to this creature, however, is that it cannot block. But maybe Pinto only plans on attacking. Darby responds with a creature of his own. Goblin Chain Whirler. It has First Strike, which means if it attacks or blocks, it's going to deal its damage first. And that's why that Scrap Heap Scrounger won't dare to attack. Yeah, Gonzalo is missing, is he doesn't have any removal of his own. He's got all creatures, so he can't remove the, the Chain Whirler, so he's not gonna be able to attack with the Scrounger this turn. And he, that Rekindling Phoenix that White is about to play is gonna go uncontested for now. The Aethersphere Harvester is pretty good. It sizes up very well against the Rekindling Phoenix, but of course you are playing against the red deck, so if you do choose to block, very likely that they will have a spell to finish off the Aethersphere Harvester. That's right, and of course with all the abrades running around, a card like Aethersphere Harvester isn't necessarily staying on the battlefield. Who, but the burn spell, if you will, <laughs> in Wyatt's hand is a Chandra's Defeat, which you cannot use on artifacts. the Aethersphere Harvester. <laughs> This, this is a uh, potentially a big turn. Darby was not happy to see Pinto play Aether Sphere Harvester. It's a vehicle that can attack for three, but also has five toughness. That is a huge butt in this matchup. But it has this back-breaking ability to give itself lifelink until end of turn. So if it deals damage, it's going to gain that much life. Lifelink, the last thing any red player wants to hear. Just mention lifelink to a red player and they'll be like, Lifelink? Where? So Darby's not happy, but he does get to deploy the Rekindling Phoenix. A flying creature of his own, but the problem is that the four power isn't enough to beat the big butt of the Harvester. Finally, having a big butt pays off. Gonzalo Pinto, for the turn, drew a copy of Goblin Chain Whirler of his own. Oh, and that is great. Now Gonzalo can attack. And if Wyatt chooses to block, Gonzalo can then play the Chain Whirler to finish off the uh, the Elemental token. Wow. It's a, it's a fairly common play and one that would prompt me to not want to block if I, if I were Wyatt here. Right. But it's like, still got to feel great. You get that nice six point life swing here. And Darby's having none of it. He says, I've seen that trick before. I'm just going to take the hit. And he's not going to be happy about that. It is a six point life swing as Luis described earlier, but Maintaining that Phoenix, especially demanding that your opponent use at least two spells on it, is of great importance. Here's PNLR now for Gonzalo. This has been a nice curve. He went one, two, three, three. 
So Pinto used his Scrap Heap Scrounger to crew the Harvester, attack for three and gain that three life. He follows it up with Pia Nalar, because when she enters the battlefield, he gets a 1-1 Flying Thopter artifact. But now artifacts can attack for more, because with the activated ability of one red and one generic, target artifact creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Wyatt really needs to deal with these flyers. And Wyatt's really gonna need to draw a removal spell. He, he currently has Chandra's Defeat, which is just not gonna line up well against Ether Sphere Harvester or the Siege Gang Commander, which could come down next turn. Well, given that Gonzalo needs his fifth land, he's probably drawing a scrounger. But... Yeah, well, if history <laughs> is, is any indication. <laughs> Okay, Wyatt Darby's gonna kick things off with an attack for four. Wyatt is in a very stressful situation here as he started out 2-0. and I mean, things were looking really good for Wyatt Darby to just be our Pro Tour champion. And the last two games have not gone his way. And now he's facing down a pretty intimidating board and Gonzalo Pinto is perhaps poised to finish the three games in a row comeback to win the Pro Tour. Yeah, this Ether Sphere Harvester has now gained Gonzalo six life. Huge and when they're both racing. Look at this, rekindling Phoenix now. This curve out for Pinto has been fantastic. Whoa, did someone turn up the heat? Pinto comes out with his own rekindling Phoenix. Now this thing is really hard to stay dead because it's got the ability. When rekindling Phoenix dies, create a 0-1 red elemental creature token. And essentially at the beginning of your next turn, you can sacrifice this elemental token to bring back your dead Phoenix back into play with haste. This game's now a Phoenix stare down. And we saw there that Wyatt Darby was forced to leave a lot of mana unused that turn. His draw step, carry Zev, Skyship Raider. That's not the kind of card that he wants to see at this late juncture. He really needed to find a Chain Roller there because then he could kill Phoenix with Chandra's Defeat, Chain Roller away the Elemental, the Doctor Token, and then put up two minus one minus one counters on Scrap yeah. Heap and Pia. Or even in a braid to deal with that either Sphere either Harvester. And then I think at this point, he might need to slow it down and just use that Phoenix on defense. And at this point, you know, you're, you're so far behind, you might have to just hope that they don't have it. Yeah, this one is starting to really slip away from Wyatt Darby. Gonzalo Pinto from Portugal, moving ever closer to hoisting that Pro Tour trophy. He's got his teammates and friends rooting for him on the sidelines right now. Phoenix runs into other Phoenix. This is going to be brutal. They get triggers here for their elemental tokens. And is this Goblin Chain Whirler? Oh my goodness sakes. Kill your elemental. That means your Phoenix isn't coming back. Gonzalo will be getting his. Gonzalo attacks freely with his Phoenix into the Phoenix of Wyatt Darby because he is setting up a trap. After the exchange, he follows it up with his own Goblin Chain Whirler. When Goblin Chain Whirler enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. The Phoenix's elemental only has one toughness and poof, it's gone. Like any hope Darby has of getting back into this game because he only has three puny creatures versus Pinto's entire army. But there's still six minutes left in this video so you know it's gonna be good. Well, Wyatt does have a Chandra's defeat which he can use on the on and the on the token. He may need to but he's got so many problems. One Chandra's defeat does not get him out of this. There's a chance he may have wanted to wait and see if he could draw his own Chain Whirler, but I think he's in a lot of trouble either way. Yeah, he, he preferred to leave himself open to be able to cast a five drop. Let's see what he drew for the turn, but Ooh, honestly- Hazoret. It is Hazoret the Fervent. Now, how does that change things? Well, he's still getting, um pressured very heavily by these flyers. The combination of both the Aethersphere Harvester and the Thopter, along with PNLR's ability to pump artifact creatures, means that White is on a two-turn clock currently. Darby has a long way to go, but he top decks Hazaret the Fervent, a 5-4 indestructible creature with haste. Darby can start creating problems for Pinto. Can Wyatt take the race to Gonzalo? It just doesn't feel like it from this position, right? 
Mm, yeah, it seems very difficult. That ether sphere harvester did a lot of work. 21 life is where Gonzalo Pinto, he's facing mono red and he's above his starting life total. Yeah, it's going to be tough, especially since if Gonzalo draws a land, he's going to be able to play a siege game commander and that just ends all dreams of Hazret attacking. Well, Hazret's going to make hay while the sun shine and get in there for five, but Gonzalo's still at a hefty 16 life. Another five drop off the top of the library for Gonzalo, it was Glorybringer. These Siege Gangs just don't want to be cast. No. Never. These are the shyest Siege Gangs I've ever seen. I'll tell you what, whenever my opponent has them, they're on the battlefield. Still, the question remains, does Gonzalo even need them to win this match? Yeah, and now Gonzalo is just weighing out his options, trying to figure out how exactly he can lose from this situation. Um, I do believe that he's going to go for the two-turn clock here because he doesn't really have another great play. And, and he could just hit for four, put Wyatt to five, play two scrappy scroungers if he wants. He could also pump once if he needed to. Yeah, I, I like the pumping once. No, I guess it doesn't matter because if the Chandra dies, then you can still get them with the flyers. Gonzalo attacks in the air with his Thopter and Harvester, pumps it up for one to put Darby down to four life. And unless Darby can do something about these flyers, he's going to be dead next turn. Okay, there's Scrappy Scrounger number two. He passed it to turn back to Darby, who needs something miraculous off the top of the library. He is facing lethal damage in the air next turn. Is there anything he can do to find a way through, or is it going to be Gonzalo Pinto running not one, not two, but three games in a row after facing an 0-2 deficit to take down Pro Tour Dominaria? Wyatt Darby is reviewing his options in the same calm manner he does every single time, but he may be out of options at this point. You know, Wyatt did draw an Abrade, however, which he can't wow. use on the Ethersphere Harvester. Now, if Gonzalo just decides to only attack with the Flyers, he will have one more turn because Gonzalo has mana to pump the Thopter up to a 3-1 but that's not going to be enough. Darby top decks the perfect answer to his problems. Forget the big butt on the harvester. Let's blow it up. A braid. Destroy target artifact. He's not out of the woods yet, but it buys Darby one more turn. Now, does Pinto have a chance to just attack with everything? And by the way, the trend of needing to land or wanting to land, but trying <laughs> to scrap <laughs> heap scratcher. <laughs> He's drawn two scrap heap scratchers and a five drop. Yes. He's deep in the tank. Look at the intensity in the feature match area that both players know how much is on the line and how close this game has gotten. He's going to crew up the Aether Sir Harvester, go for the lethal attack. Pinto does not need to do anything as far as pumping goes, but it was a braid off the top of the library to kill the Aether Sphere Harvester. That, that'll, that'll keep Wyatt in for another turn. He could go to one. Yeah, he could either put him to one or just play out a few more creatures. He's going to put him to one. Wyatt Darby has to find an answer for that Thopter this draw step or we are done here. So after he got his harvester blown up, Gonzalo says we're going all in. He pumps up his Thopter to three power, putting Darby down to one. Gonzalo is saying this game ends right here. If not on your turn, then my turn. So show me what you got. And Wyatt Darby has to find an answer for that Thopter this draw step or we are done here. Was that a Glorybringer? That's a Glorybringer. Oh my goodness. Did he just draw Glorybringer off the top of the library? So it's that... always at 11. Is there any way he can swing this around? So he blocks Hazard. He takes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Glorybringer Are you killed... serious? Glorybringer killed Are you chain serious roller. right now? That, that's 11. But Hazard gets blocked. Kari Zem is 3. Soul Scar Mage is 1. Chain Whirler is 3. Glorybringer is 4. Did he just That's 11 damage. the pro Glorybringer off the top for Wyatt Darby? He's done the math. Oh, he sends it in, cleals the Chain Whirler. All Pinto can do is look <laughs> at lethal damage. He can't what? believe that Wyatt Darby just stole the Pro Tour from him. Oh my god, that was the only card. Wyatt Darby top decks Glorybringer. This is that card I foreshadowed at the beginning of the video. Darby sends in the team. 
including Kari Zev, which when she attacks, you put a 2-1 stinky monkey tapped and attacking into play. The Glory Bringer exerts to burn the Chain Whirler to death, which means Pinto only has Pia to defend, because remember, Scrap Heap Scrounger can't block. And assuming Pia blocks Hazret, which is the largest creature, Wyatt Darby attacks through for exactly 11 damage. Winning is great, but winning with Xaxes is so satisfying. And that's gonna do it. Wyatt Darby is your Pro Tour Dominaria champion. And what better way to bring the glory than to top deck a glory bringer? Do you have any great top deck stories? Share them with us in the comment section below. Smash like for Xaxes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because subscribers top deck for the win.